welcome back to Learning to Be Prepared. My name is Jeremy and today is going to be a little bit different. Instead of um, reviewing an item, this video is going to be about you. <laughs> um, whether you are currently a YouTuber or whether you're thinking about becoming a YouTuber, I just want to encourage everybody tonight just for a couple of minutes and um, hopefully it will um, be a benefit to you. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to address all of you who are thinking about whether or not you should start a YouTube channel. So I have a few notes um, that I've written down because I'll totally forget it if I don't. So I'm going to be reading from my notes as we talk. Um, so bear with me real quick. Uh, the first thing is when, when we're starting a YouTube channel, oftentimes we think about um, the concerns that we have. There's tons of them and there's no way I could list them all, but I did write three or four of them down just to kind of touch base so that you know that you're not alone. So for an example, will anyone want to watch? I'm going to say that most likely if you put a video up, somebody's going to watch it. Now I can't say that you're going to have a million views on your first video, but don't let that bother you. Don't let it bother you if you're worried about how many people are going to watch it. It's okay if only a few watch it, okay? So just don't worry about that. Let the YouTubers who are looking for videos to watch, let them worry about what they want to watch. If you want to make a video, make it. Number two, I don't have a good camera or I don't have good lighting. I am that person. I use my iPhone 6 Plus to to record all of my videos. Um, I've thought about getting a better camera and then I end up talking to people and for an example they say that it's not all about a better camera but it's about lighting or how you set everything up. So if you don't have a thousand dollar camera it's okay. Don't let that stop you. What do you have to offer? That's a great question because if you're going to do a YouTube channel, um, you do want to talk about something or show something, but don't don't let it get you down in feeling like you don't have anything to offer somebody. Um, if you have a topic in mind or um, items that you really enjoy, chances are there is a lot of other people that share those enjoyments as well. So again, go ahead and make that video, okay? Go ahead and set that channel up. I'm not as good as everyone else and I can't make as good of videos as anyone else or everyone else. Well guys, you know what? Not all of us are going to be the Urban Prepper or Chris from Prepared Mind 101 um, or whatever channels that you watch a lot that have to do with what you like watching. All of the communities on YouTube have different channels that do extremely well. There are vloggers that have just a few hundred viewers to vloggers that have 100, 200, or a million viewers. It's okay if your channel is not just like someone else's. It's okay if you don't have as many subscribers. Um, I think what's most important is not how big your channel is, but whether or not you're helping and encouraging others. So if you have a video that gets 100,000 views and it helps absolutely nobody, I don't think that's as helpful as having a video that gets 500 views but changes people's lives or really answers their questions or helps them to enjoy their hobby more. So it's okay if your channel is not as large as someone else's just have fun with it. Uh, it takes time anyway. So, <clears throat> how do you get started? There's a lot of different things to cover, but and, and there's no way I can cover all of those right here. But I did write just four or five things down that might help you if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel. So number one, if you don't already have a topic, you, you want to think about what your channel is going to be about. Maybe you're going to have a channel that covers everything. Um, just whatever you go through every day, that's what you're going to put in your next video. 
Others are going to have a different type of um, topic. Like for me, I enjoy things along the line of being prepared. I enjoy putting gear bags together and walking through those gear bags and reviewing those gear bags. Maybe you have a talent um, that you can help others with. And so your channel is going to be a completely different type of channel than what mine will be. So um, figure out what you want your channel to be about and perhaps come up with a name for your channel that's going to support what it's going to be about. Next, you can watch other people's videos on YouTube to give you ideas on how to do your video. So if you want to do a video on repairing cars, or if you want to do a video on how to organize your house, then watch videos on those topics. See how other people start their videos, how they progress through the videos, and how they conclude their videos. If they give examples of walking around their house with their camera and showing different areas, then maybe you can learn how to video certain parts of your house if that's what you want to have a video on. If you're into cars, maybe watch other videos on cars, see how people position the cameras, see what it is that they talk about. Um, and then maybe think about how you can make your videos a little bit different than everybody else's. Or if you want to make it similar to others, but just adding a few of your own ideas, that's okay too. But watching other videos has really helped me as far as how I make my own videos. <laughs> The next thing is practice. Now, practicing for you may be different than, every, than someone else. Some of us will write notes down and we'll kind of go over those notes once or twice before we actually start filming. Other people will just push record and they'll shoot the video, they'll watch it. If they don't like it, they just shoot it again. And they keep doing that until they're ready to um, post that video. So just spend some time practicing. It doesn't have to be perfect. But make some changes if you need if you need to and go ahead and post that video because if you don't post it you'll never get started so there you go the last thing is don't be afraid to ask for help if you um, have questions on how to light your videos or how to record your videos how to edit um, Find other people on YouTube that can help you with that. Or maybe you have friends that know how to do that. And so ask around, watch videos on how to do it, and um, that would be an encouragement to you as well. Now again, that's not going to tell you everything you need to know about making a YouTube channel, but it gives you some small foundations to get started. Now the next thing I just want to... Um, to do is I want to encourage all of you who do have YouTube channels because I know that having a YouTube channel can be very discouraging sometimes. It's okay if your video channel is not growing as fast as you want it to. In fact, I kind of think that can be a good thing because as your channel is still growing, that gives you more time to work on things, whether it's um, learning how to answer all the comments, finding that schedule, that allows you to think about what you want your next video to be about. It gives you time to plan on how you want to go about answering comments. Some of us may answer them once a week while others of us may answer every comment as they come in. But when you have a smaller channel, you actually have an advantage of being able to stay on top of things like the comments and planning your next video and it gives you a little bit more time to do that. If your channel is the opposite of all of that and you're growing too fast and you can't get to your comments and you can't keep up with everybody who's emailing you and messaging you, my encouragement to you is to take a deep breath and just relax. Um, just like um, when your channel is still small and you're scheduling things out to kind of get a grip on how to work through everything, I think some of that can be added to those channels that 
are growing so fast that you can't keep up with it. It's okay if you can't answer every single comment or every single email as soon as they come in. And maybe you're not able to answer all of those individually anyway. But just be honest and be real with your viewers. Maybe you'll want to kind of go over all your comments and instead of replying to each one individually, maybe you'll want to set up a video and just cover all the questions that most everybody asks as a majority. And then you can answer 20 or 30 people all at the same time by covering their question in your video. If you get haters, that can be painful if you get a bunch of people starting to hate on you, leaving nasty comments and things like that. My personal way of handling that is not to hate back, but sometimes it's just to respond in a loving manner. So if somebody says something nasty, you know, I'll just try to take a second and just be thankful that he watched my video. So I'll just thank him. Hey, man, you know, thanks for your thoughts. Um, I know you differ a little bit from what I think or from what I do, but I at least wanted to say thank you for watching my video. Don't compare yourself to other YouTubers. This, this idea goes back to a lot of things we've already covered. But if you see somebody else reviewing your same products and yet they get hundreds and hundreds of more views than you do, that's hard to swallow, but it's okay. Because each of us goes about our videos in different ways and we reach different people. So it's okay, it's kind of like dating. You're not gonna be Mr. Perfect or Miss Perfect for everybody. It just takes that one person that falls in love with you. And, um, and that makes a great marriage. You're, you can't make everybody happy. Um, but have fun, don't let it get you down. And with your YouTube channel, um, sometimes it just takes reaching just the right people that enjoy your channel for what it is. And that's great. Um, again, it's not about numbers. It's not about how many subscribers or how many likes you get. Though as, courage, as encouraging as all of those are, just keep in mind that our channel, I think, is to really help others and encourage others. So... Try not to compare yourself to everybody else. Um, but maybe instead, go to those channels that you see that are doing well and maybe ask questions and see if they could help you or watch their videos, see the things that they do, and maybe try to pick out things that you feel help their channel grow and apply those to your own channel. Now, the last um, thing that I want to do in this video is I want to thank all the people that like and comment and subscribe to my channel. That really means a lot. I'm a small channel. I have a lot to learn on making videos and how to go about lighting my videos and setting everything up. I'm still learning. And so all of you who are so gracious to watch and comment and like, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. So anyway, guys, I hope this few minutes of a video um, encourages um, all of you to um, <laughs> just keep going no matter where you are in your process of YouTube, whether you're considering a channel or already have one. And um, if this is helpful, maybe we could do another video later that goes in more detail on um, how to deal with a YouTube channel. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.